Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, you will learn how to use conditional formatting to create any type of tracker. So for example, whenever you enter the value true, the field will automatically turn into green. Whenever you enter the value false, it will automatically turn into red. But not only that, this field right here will also automatically update, which is the progress bar chart, along with the weekly average for the week. So let's get straight into it. So the very first thing we need to do is create our basic template. So in this example, I will be tracking my habits. So I've gone ahead and created days across the week along with the habits I want to track. But you could track anything you want. It could be a project, it could be your finances, so on and so forth. Now what we need to do is we need to simply enter the values true or false. So true will mean you have actually completed the habit. False would mean you have failed to complete the habit. So I'm just gonna do true, false, true, false. Now the next step we're going to do is add some conditional formatting. So select the data, then go on home conditional formatting. And then we want this rule right here, which is highlight cell rules and then equal to. So if the value is true, I want the colors to be in green. As such, then press OK. And then same again, conditional formatting, cell rules equal to. If it's false, I want it to be in red. I want to press OK. Now you've got your basic structure right there. The next step is to complete the progress bar chart using the information we have in the fields. So the way we do that is through a count if function. So select on the cell, then go on this FX sign right here, which is the formula sign, and then just search for count if and press go. And then press OK on count if. Now what the count if function is doing is it's basically counting if a certain criteria is met. So the first thing Excel will ask you for is the range. So the range we want to look at is the habits itself, whether I've actually achieved those habits. Now the criteria I'm looking for is true. So once I press enter, or press OK, Excel will count the number of times I've achieved those habits or I've entered the word true and that is two times out of four. But as you can see, this is in a number format. What we want to do is we want to show this in a percentage value. So the way we do this is on the formula right here, we need to add another formula at the end. So what you need to do is press divide or this slash button, then count A, open bracket, select the range of habits, which will be A2 to A5, close the bracket and press enter. Now you've got the percentage right here, but just change it to a percentage format. And there you have it, you've got the basic percentage. So 50% of the time I've achieved my habits. Now the final thing we need to do here is add the actual progress bar chart. And the way we do that is by selecting the cell, going on conditional formatting, going on data bars, and then pressing more rules. Now, what we need to do here is we need to change the minimum and maximum to a number. So I'm going to do that for both and then keep the minimum at zero and keep the maximum at one and then press OK. And there you have your progress bar chart. So now if I change this to true, this will automatically update based on the information above. So if I do this to true again, you've got 100%. One additional thing you can do is actually hide these values so it looks a lot more neater. The way you do that is simply select the data range, right click, and then go on format cells. As you can see right now, it's in general and it's just the text. But what you want to do is press custom and then change the general into three semicolons as such. So one, two, three, and then press OK. And what that will do is it will hide the values, but they do still exist. So if you select it, as you can see, the true is still there. So if I change this to false, formula will still work. Now all you need to do is drag this across all the days of the week, and that should work across the board. So if I chain this around false, as you can see, it's working successfully. Now the final step is I want to add a weekly average to see my progress across the week. So to do that, press equals, average, open bracket, and then select all these data points right here, close the bracket, press enter. 
As you can see, we've got a 61%, which is the weekly average. But I again want to show it in a progress bar chart. The easiest way to do that is select any one of the progress bar charts. Go on Format Painter right here at the top and then simply select it here. There you go. There you have it. Now, if I change these values, let's say to false and again false, my average also automatically updates. One final thing I'm going to do is change the color of these bars because I prefer green. So I'll just select them all, go on conditional formatting, and then we're going to go on data bars, more rules, and you may need to do this again. So yeah, I need to change this to a number, change this to a number again, change it to one. And then right here, I'm going to change the color to green, press OK, and that's updated all my colors. Now, what you can do is just select all of this and paste it, Control C, Control V. So you've got different weeks, so week two, and then week three. And the formulas should hopefully come across. So there we go, the formulas are working. And the progress bar chart is also automatically updating, and so is the average.